Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27891. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the Canary channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you wouldn't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. In my opinion, the highlight of this build is a hidden feature that isn't a Officially announced on the Microsoft blog post, but has been discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com, which is a new option that allows you to get the new battery icon with colors and battery percentage on the lock screen, which is, I think, pretty interesting. So this is a new addition. I'm pretty sure that this wasn't officially announced because it still has some issues. According to Phantom of Earth, the battery icon sometimes switches to the old one instead of showing the new one on the lock screen, of course. Hopefully, Microsoft will release this on the main release because we had it a few months ago, but they rolled it back. If you're interested about this feature, I can make a video and I'll show you how to enable it, but as I've said, it is pretty buggy at the moment. Also, Windows PowerShell 2.0 is deprecated and in the most current Windows Insider preview builds, slide it to the Canary channel, it is removed, and Microsoft is stating that more information will be shared in an upcoming update for Windows 11. We also have a Microsoft Store update in this build, which allows you to install directly from the top featured sections, basically directly from the homepage. As you can see here, I can scroll down here and you're gonna have the button to install. For example, here I have the button to buy if it's something that requires payment. But of course, you can go to downloads and then check for updates and this way Microsoft Store will be updated to the latest version. This is pretty much it with new features. Let's talk about a few fixes. For example, some general fixes. Microsoft fixed the issue on under settings, system, and, and then recovery where the reset this PC option wasn't working after upgrading to the last few Canary channel builds. They also fixed the underlying issue which was causing the taskbar to unexpectedly not show acrylic material after upgrading to the latest canary builds. This also impacted a few other scenarios leading to unexpected black or white in some UI. Also, they fixed an underlying issue believed to be the cause of some insider seeing Windows update downloads being stuck to 2% recently. And they also fixed a few more languages including Vietnamese and Arabic that were still having issues with certain characters not rendering correctly for insiders after the latest builds, causing nonsense to display in places like the task manager and more. This impacted characters outside side of A and Z. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft also fixed an issue where if you opened the Points menu in the File Explorer address bar to show the full list of folders for the current path, the drop-down might be cut off and the bottom of it inaccessible, but that is now fixed. Related to the Settings app, Microsoft fixed an issue in the previous build which could cause settings to crash when opening the microphone properties under Settings, System, and then Sound. And they also fixed an underlying issue related to Bluetooth which could lead to settings or even quick settings to crash on launch for some people. Related to Windowing, they fixed an issue which was causing the window minimizing animation to not display correctly in the previous build. I think that is now displaying correctly in this latest build. Related to the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue where the CPU graphs in the performance page were still using the old CPU utility calculations. And they also fixed an issue where after adding the new CPU utility column, you might notice that the system idle process always showed at zero. Related to audio, they fixed an issue which could cause all system sounds to stop working. For example, the notification alert sound, although audio in general was working on your PC. And we also have some other fixes, for example, fix an issue which was causing fonts in certain app menu items to unexpectedly appear corrupted or overlapped for some people. This also impacted typing in Word, where when using Hebrew, period may unexpectedly show as a 3, and in Thai, typing space would show as a 2. They also fixed an issue which could cause the playback controls in the media player to become distorted in the latest canary builds. They also fixed an underlying issue believed to be the cause of LDAP queries from apps to take an unexpectedly long time from the previous flight. And finally, they fixed an issue which could cause print previews to appear slightly blurry in the recent Canary flights. We also have two new known issues. For example, Microsoft is investigating an issue in this build which could cause settings to crash when interacting with the options under settings, system, and then power and battery. In this case, it works because I'm not on a laptop, but my guess would be that on a laptop, this could crash. And also related to remote desktop, you may see extreme graphical distortion and rendering issues when using remote desktop on ARM64 PCs in this build. So basically, this is the latest build for the Canary channel, 27891. For more information, check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jibani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.